Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Nichols, and today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare and run a sample on a 60 megahertz NMR. I'll first put a clean NMR tube into an Erlenmeyer for support, and next I'm gonna add my deuterated solvent. I'm gonna use deuterochloroform, or CDCL3. It's a really common solvent for NMR, but this is a pretty hazardous material. It's a suspect carcinogen, and so when working with this, you do wanna wear gloves and work in the fume hood. Uh, deuterochloroform also has a tendency to drip out of the pipette. So if you pull up some liquid and then notice that it's dripping out of the pipette all on its own, even without pushing on the bulb, um, one way to fix this is to withdraw and expunge the solvent a few times. And by doing that, you'll saturate the head space in the pipette with vapors and it won't drip anymore. Then you can add that to your NMR tube and you want to fill it up to about one and a half inches high. If you have extra, you can actually put that back into the reagent jar, especially if you know that that pipette is clean, you won't necessarily cross-contaminate it. Um, and deuterochloroform is actually quite expensive, so we don't wanna waste it. So here is our one and a half inches of solvent. Next, what you'll do is add your sample, and I'm going to run an NMR on vinyl propionate. Um, since I'm doing this on a 60 megahertz instrument, I'll need quite a few, uh, quite, a, quite a bit of sample. I'm gonna need uh, six drops of sample. It doesn't seem to be dripping, so now I'll add that to the tube. And uh, to tr you know, try to prevent contamination on the pipette tip, I'm gonna try to not touch the tube um, with the pipette, but I'll be adding six drops to the NMR tube. And then you can take a cap and sort of with a twisting motion, you can secure the cap to the, to the tube. And then because I dripped in the sample um, after the solvent, it's probably just sitting there near the top and it's on the sides. So invert the tube one or two times and then that will rinse the solvent through it and make a solution. Then at the NMR, you can set your sample down and open up the flap. You can push the eject button and that will shoot air up through the machine and push out the old sample. Lift that out, keeping it very vertical so that you don't snap it. And then there's this little plastic holder that will kind of hold the sample. And if we grab that with our fingers, we'll, we'll get oils from our hands onto that little spinner. And over time, that'll cause us some problems. So let's just hold onto that with a Kim wipe. You can pull out the old sample and then you're gonna delicately push in yours. And then there's this little part at the front of the instrument that is used to make sure that it's at the right uh, height. And so you can um, push that in kind of carefully until it feels like it stops and then that's the correct uh, height. You can then stick that carefully into the machine and you're gonna push the inject button and that'll drop it into the NMR. And the one thing you wanna do is look down the hatch and make sure that it is actually spinning because there are times when it kinda of just gets stuck. If it does look like it's, it's stationary and not spinning well, then all you have to do is eject it again and then inject it again and just hold on the inject button for like two seconds and that normally works.